So let's look at a simple recap now where we generate an electrical drawing and we insert our components and our wiring and then we create a report from that drawing. So I've got the 18 simple recap project there. I've also got a drawing JIC title block. So we're going to look at title block setup first. You always do your title block first and then add your electrical information. That way you can tie your project settings into your title block. So we right click, add the active drawing to the project. As we always do, you should be into that habit by now. And there's 001, JIC title block DWG. There's our title block there in the drawing. It's empty. There's nothing else in the drawing at the moment. We go to our project tab and go to title block setup. And we're going to link it to the project. There are other options available, which if you refer back to previous videos, you'll know that there's default, default, and WD underscore TB attribute. I'm going to use the project setting and click on OK. There's obviously one being set up already. That's no problem. I'm going to overwrite it in this case. And then I'm going to pick block. I don't need to remember the name of the block because I can go and pick it in the drawing. Click Enter. And there it is there, AutoCAD Electrical, title block, and it's an ANSI B size drawing. So I'll OK that now. Now, as I said in previous videos, this does look more complicated than it actually is. All you're doing here is text mapping. So you're associating an attribute like project number to a line in the project text mapping setup. So let me just drag that dialog box over a little. There's our attributes here on the right in the title block. So I've already set the first one, which is project number there. Next one is going to be drawing number, which is that one there. Then we've got the next one down, which is drawn by, which is here. And then we've got checked by, which is here. And then we've got approved by, which is right there. So I click on OK now, and that information is now written to the project. Save your drawing at this point to make sure that everything is saved. Now we need to go into the descriptions for the project because those attributes are now text mapped to the project itself. Simple recap project, right click and go to descriptions right there. So now we have to put the descriptions in. Now these descriptions you would type in. I'm going to set it so that they go into my report as well, my first five there. So line one is going to be 100 dash 100 dash 222 for the project number and then the next one down is 100 dash 100 and then a dash again and a d and then the drawing number itself i'll put in 9999 next one down is going to be drawn by so we'll put my initials in there let's say and then we'll put another set of initials in for checked by and another set of initials in for approved by once you've got those in place and you've ticked them to go into your report you click on OK. Again, that information has been saved to the project. Make sure that you save your drawing. Now you can run a title block update from here in the other tools on the project tab in the ribbon. You can also right click on the project and run a title block update from there. Now I want to set all of these, these five lines, to come into the project and update. They're the ones that I've put the values in. You can see there, the rest are blank. I'm going to do this for the active drawing only. I could do this project wide if I had title blocks set up for all my other drawings in the project, but I'll do it for active drawing at the moment. So I'm just going to move that over a little bit so that you can see the title block. Click on OK active drawing only and you'll see everything updates in your title block according to your project details. So that's how you do your title block setup and your title block update. We're now ready to move on to the next part of our simple recap.